Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Conor Gallagher. Getting the better of his opponent. How can they open up the defence here? Wilfried Zaha. Luka Milivojevic. Read it magnificently and intercepted. again and the challenge halts them in their tracks good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch now can they make something happen Douglas Luiz and he takes on the shot and saved by the keeper he's driven in the corner and taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Surely! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Who can they pick out? Giving it a try. And blocked for now. McGinn. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Into the advanced position. And let's give credit to the defending. Konza. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Showing considerable guile. And a chance to whip it in here. And a textbook interception. A very effective challenge put in. A really intense pressure applied. Are you? Fine cross into the middle. And the problem not completely solved. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. Well, half-time coming up shortly and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. And it's gone in! The teams separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Are you? Now Christian Benteke. Wilfried Zaha. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. John McGinn. A potential danger here. Ings. Losing possession. Luka Milivojevic. Anderson. Nicely cut out. He's in control of the situation. Joel Ward. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. Now the keeper should grab hold of it. He's lost it. And into the last 30 minutes now. James MacArthur. It's with Milivojevic. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, as you can see, Villa are struggling to control possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Not a good pass. Chance to run at them. Target. McGinn. They couldn't maintain possession. And into the last 20 minutes. Connor Gallagher. Ings. Now what can they do from here? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. Zaha. A chance to eat into their lead. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Ings. Well, possession seeded. Joel Ward. Hudson Edouard. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Wonderful chance. Oh, goodness me, off the post. And getting across to stop it. And they will make the change now. Who can they pick out? Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Are you I'm making high pressing work for them here? Could be. Well, at this late stage, you've got to be opportunistic. Well, there's no way back now, I don't think. He had to finish that one. Couldn't keep the ball. Oh, breezing past him. Zaha sends it back. Not finished yet, not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback and the finish is clinical. Hitting it cleanly beyond the keeper, that's a good goal. So there we have it, 2-1. And there goes the whistle for full time. The Villa fans will leave the stadium happy on the back of this victory. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory.